hey everyone my name is anjali verma and welcome to my youtube channel so a lot of you commented that the make a video on how can we learn the reactions easily and how can we do the conversion reactions in organic chemistry so that is why i am making this video today i hope it helps you all and also i am going to tell you about a certain book for j and neat or any other competitive exam because i saw a lot of comments that they also make video regarding which book would uh, be good for j or any sort of other competitive exam so look most important thing for learning the reactions is written practice now a lot of you commented that the, we are not able to learn the reactions one day we learn the reaction and the other day we forget it so basically this happens because we do not do written practice till the time i was not doing written practice at all i was not able to learn the reactions so the most important thing for learning the reactions is doing written practice like i am giving you an example like suppose there are three reactions that are interrelated first is sandmeyer second is gutterman and third is bar schiemann reaction so what happens in sandmeyer's reaction is we use the benzene diazonium chloride so that's the benzene diazonium chloride and what happens in sandmeyer's reaction we use cucl and hcl and it leads to the generation of chloro benzene and n2 gets evolved and similarly what happens in gutterman's reaction instead of cucl CU is used, so you can learn both the reactions easily, right? Because both are interrelated. So in this reaction also, the same product that is the chlorobenzene is formed. But there is a difference between both the reactions. Like in the first reaction, CuCl is used, and in the second reaction, that is the Gutterman reaction, copper is used. And one question is also asked that which reaction would be faster? So Gutterman reaction would be faster because powdered form of copper is used and it has a larger surface area, and hence. the reaction is faster so such kinds of questions are asked and you can practice these kinds of question as well and similarly you can learn the bar schiemann reaction as well because that is used for fluorine and that is a different kind of reaction because obviously fluorine is highly reactive and hence this kind of reaction is not possible for fluorine so like this you can interrelate things with each other and you can do written practice to be able to learn the reactions easily and then the most important thing is revision like if you learn five reactions in a day and you do not not revise it at all then you'll forget the reactions because you have to learn for a long term basis like i remember all the reactions of chemistry till now it's been one year i've given my board exams but i still remember the reactions because i practiced it a lot and i kept on revising things so revise on a weekly basis or a daily basis like it totally depends upon you if you want to revise on a weekly basis then also it is good and if you want to revise on a daily basis then it is also good but revision is very important if you want to learn the reactions now a lot of you commented uh, regarding the book that would be very helpful for j or any sort of competitive exam so i really like this book from oswal books and this is the ncert exemplar it has both kinds of questions like some kind of questions are also asked in the board exams and the most important questions for j or neat or any sort of other competitive exam it has a lot of questions that are very very important and the difficulty level is also good because in neat or j high level questions are asked so similar kind of questions are given in this book the thing which i really liked about this book is for first the mind maps like uh, you're given the mind maps here if you want to revise any chapter then you can easily revise any chapter because all the points that are mostly covered in that particular chapter are written here and the second thing that i really liked about this book are the questions of this like suppose there is any chapter suppose you are revising surface chemistry then a quick review of that particular chapter is given some tips and tricks are also given and the multiple choice questions are also given here so a lot of people face a lot of problems in the multiple choice questions because uh, these one mark questions are a bit difficult yes i agree so the mcqs that are asked in board exams are given here and they are really very helpful because that one mark for each and every question matters a lot that is why you need to practice the mcqs and mcqs are given in this book so i really like this thing about this book then you're also given very short type of questions in this book and the short questions and the long questions so all kinds of questions are given in this book so i really like this book you can also find this book for the the subjects like this is for chemistry you can also check it out for physics or math they are really very helpful so link aapko description box mein mil jayega you can go and check it out then after that how can you do the conversions now many people commented that conversion reactions are very difficult look they are not at all difficult if you 
have learned all the reaction then you can easily do the conversion reactions and where to do conversion reactions from you have to practice these conversion reactions from the ncrt in text or the back exercise also there are so many questions in ncrt and uh, you get confused so i would prefer that do previous 10 year question papers like usme jitne bhi conversion reactions hain you can practice them i personally did not do all the questions of ncrt i actually did not do the questions of ncrt like the conversion ones because i knew that the questions that come in boards are always repeated so why waste time on all those questions i just practice from the previous 10 year question papers and the sample papers like uh, i was from uk board so we have a book called mastermind i did questions from that only and for cbse the sample paper books are really good if you want to practice the conversion reactions and i already told you that i like the sample papers of oswald books so you can check uh, that and you can do conversion reactions from that particular book and if you don't want to do a lot of hard work then only do the previous 10 year question papers that would be really very beneficial for you सो आई होप यू रियली लाइक दिस वीडियो डोंट फोगेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद यर फ्रेंड्स एंड अगर आप चैनल पर नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग